So this was uh, a young female who presented, uh, like she, she came in for a BVT study. So I will go through the images. And uh, if you see any particular finding that catches your eye, you can type in your answer. So this patient presented with acute uh, left calf pain uh, since the past two weeks. That's the history that I got from the ER. These are the ultrasound Doppler images. So the Doppler so far looks fine. I do not, like I'm not sharing the color images, but the DVT study was fine. An important caveat always for DVT studies is to look in the popliteal fossa for Baker's cyst because an acute ruptured Baker's cyst that can also cause uh, pain. So this is the finding that the sonographer saw in the right calf. So let me just move my screen a bit so that you can get an idea. So this is the skin. And so this is the calf region. Uh, posteriorly, the muscle, which is superficial. Okay, let me try if I can annotate. Okay, so this is the gastronemius muscle. This is the gastronemius muscle. This is the soleus muscle. And this is the skin. So this patient, uh, so this was probably what was causing the patient symptoms. So I uh, uh, called up the physician and ask for more detailed history because this doesn't look like anywhere close to a DVT. So two weeks ago, what had happened is that this patient tried to uh, climb stairs at her home and she uh, missed a step and she had acute pain. And she uh, said that the pain was uh, similar to ripping, like uh, the, the the noise. She had, she felt a pop, uh, which sounded like ripping paper. So that's the clue towards the diagnosis. So what would you think of uh, when you see a fluid density, fluid, uh, fluid uh, like area in between the gastronemius and the soleus muscle? So partial tears, hematoma, no DVT, excellent. So those are great thoughts. So hematoma, so this was probably a hematoma which is now resolving. There's something particular about this location of an hematoma. Can anyone think of a very specific diagnosis that can give rise to this kind of hematoma? So Selda, you are, uh, Selda and Gayatri, you've, you have picked up the finding correctly. So plantar is there. Uh, or which is also known as what's the other name for plantar stare or a myotendinous stare in the region of the medial head of gastronemius. What's a preferred, I would not say a preferred term, but what is a colloquial term? Uh, okay, so plantar tendon rupture is uh, uh, the correct diagnosis. The, the, the name that I'm looking for here is tennis leg. Perfect. So Stuti have uh, rightly pointed out. So tennis leg is a traumatic uh, acute rupture uh, of in the uh, biotendinous injury in the region of the calf. Initially, it was thought that it is caused due to injury or rupture of the plantaris tendon, but recent studies have found that uh, the an injury to the medial head of gastronemius is the more common cause. In acute cases, you'll see a heterogeneous uh, area in between the gastronemius and soleus because that's where the plantaris tendon resides and gradually this hematoma will resolve and you'll get this fluid signal area. So this was a case of tennis leg. The treatment for this is rest, ice application, uh, compression and elevation. Uh, the other important thing uh, to remember in these cases that 10% of these cases are known to have a DVT. So make sure that you look at the DVT study uh, carefully as well. So acute uh, DVT has a lot of other differentials. So make sure uh, that if you are doing the ultrasound, you look for a ruptured Baker's cyst if there is any, and look for a uh, plantaris tendon or a rupture or a tennis leg. So these are, uh, at least I've seen them thrice or like three or four times where uh, a patient presents with acute pain. We are thinking on the lines of DVT and uh, it's something else. So this was a uh, panoramic image from the case that I shared, shared earlier. You see this long segment uh, uh, sorry, I was talking about bowel. So that's why I said long segment. So the, you see this oblong anechoic, soft, uh, anechoic area deep to the gastronemius and soleus. So this was a case of tennis leg. So, so tennis leg is uh, acute uh, 
myotendinous injury involving the medial head of gastrocnemius or plantaris tendon. So this is the normal plantaris tendon. Commonly, you see this in tennis players, as the name suggests. But uh, as with most of these eponyms and clinical conditions, you can see them in uh, any patient. Uh, and the common, uh, uh, the, the inciting factor is knee extension with dorsiflexion. So it's also seen with players who play squash and even other, like you can also see them in uh, non-athletes as well. So this is a nice case from uh, uh, an article by Dr. Shah. So you see this nice multiplanate appearance of the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. Sometimes uh, in, uh, in not so, uh, in acute uh, presentation when the patient is presenting acutely or when uh, the injury is not that significant, all you will see is disruption of this normal myo, uh, the, this penate pattern of muscles. So if you see subtle hypoechoic areas in uh, involving the medial head of gastrocnemius and there is relevant history, you can think about this. Side.